Hi, welcome along to AFTV. Now, you all know that I love my boxing, and I love it even more when my boxers are Arsenal fans. Come on. And I'm here today uh, with Anthony Yard, uh, light heavyweight champion, who's uh, about to fight for a world title as well. World right. honours. Sorry? World honours. World, world honours, man. Trust me, that's what it's about. And as you can see, he's rocking the Arsenal top. Big you Arsenal. Know Come on. You know what? <laughs> Look how good he looks in it, man. Like, how come, come my one don't fit like that? It's fitted, you know. <laughs> nice and slim. Good colour. Got well, the gold uh, trim. Listen, um, I know you've got this big, big fight coming yes. up, haven't you? Massive, massive. I'm looking forward to it, man. Um, I'm going to get into the fight and the training you've got to do and stuff like that in a minute, but first of all, I've got to start off by asking you about Arsenal. Yes. Uh, it's been a... It's been a well, good transfer window for Arsenal. It's not something we don't finally, always say. Finally, finally. finally. and uh, we brought in some new players like Nicolas Pepe, uh, Sabeos, yes. David Luiz, mm -hmm. we nicked from Chelsea. How are you feeling ahead of the new season? I feel, I feel more confident. David Luiz in the background. <laughs> David Luiz in the background. You know, we need someone that's solid in the back. Mm. Um, Pepe, again, excellent player. So I feel like he's going to mingle well as well, score a lot of goals. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, man. I feel like mm. this season is the season that we can blossom. New kit, you know, we're back with Adidas. So, yeah, it's, it's New good. era. New, New era. era. Back. How long have you been sporting Arsenal? My whole life. <laughs> From the days of Ian Wright. Ian Wright was banging when, like, I was young. Um, I remember... So many people say that, you know. You know what? Ian Wright, Ian Wright was, my, was my main man That's as well, what I'm saying. back in the day. A man like Wrighty. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, literally, he's a Hall of Famer, man, legend. Mm. And, um, again, he's one of the people that inspired me because he started late you know he turned professional when he was late i think he was like 28 years old when he when he got when he got put in with arsenal mm. top goal scorer before Omri took over the record so he's someone that will always inspire me that age don't matter the time don't matter it's a matter about your mindset and how much you put in mm. i started boxing when i was 19 which everyone told me it was too late yeah so is that late late because in boxing everyone starts from yeah because a lot of people start from kids amateurs 10, that's what i'm saying so yeah. my amateur career was short i turned professional i just had a different kind of mindset yeah, so. Yeah. Well, you, you, you've done well. You've done, done very well very in it. Well. And, um, <laughs> and you know what? Um, with Arsenal this season, it is it's a big season for them. We, we've got to get back into our top four, haven't we? 100%. 100%. Hopefully, we can do it. Um, I just feel like it's, it's strategy that plays a big part. It's ego sometimes that plays a big part. And it's that drive that plays a big part. Sometimes I feel like Arsenal lost their, their heart. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To, like, to go for it and to, to never give up and things like that. Um, but again, I feel like manager plays a big part in that. I feel like unity plays a big part in that. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what the new season has to hold. Mm. You said Ian Wright's your favourite player from back in the day. What yes. about now? Who's your, who's your favourite at the moment? Um, I feel like people, they're yet to prove themselves. They're yet to prove themselves. What's the... Um, <laughs> it's not even because of the pitch. Who's the player that was back in Ozil when the when the um that Lassenac. Lassenac. he's my new favourite player. <laughs> <laughs> he is a guy, man. Listen, we need people like that. Again, he's on the back line, defence, defend your teammates in all areas on the pitch. Maybe, at all maybe costs. like I know you've got a fight coming out. It's over in Russia, isn't it? I'm gonna take him with me. Take Body him guy. with you, man. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Bring Kalasinac with you, be all right, man. You know what I mean? No more, nobody better come and intimidate you before you get into that ring Trust or whatever. Me. He was about it. Yeah, but you've got that big fight coming up. Yes. Um, tell us about that. Tell us about what you've been up to. Um, well, basically, the way my career went, started boxing very late. Um, had 12 amateur fights, which is a minimal amount of fights when you're going to into when you're trying to be a professional. Mm. Um, turned professional, 2015. Four years later, I've worked my way to be mandatory. So that means the That's WBO. Quick very very quick so you're a mandatory now to fight for the world title so i worked my way up to that position to be um at the number one position um had 18 professional fights now 17 knockouts my amateur career my amateur career was 12 amateur fights 11 knockouts so heavy hitter, heavy hitter. i've seen <laughs> heavy a couple hitter. of i've seen a few of your fights and you are yeah. a heavy hitter man i mean you're huge yeah. number one i see you and um yeah you are a heavy hitter and um but the guy that you're fighting, this guy, yeah. he, no he's, a, he's a serious no fighter as he's well, isn't he? Fighter. Again, he, he has a possibility to be a Hall of Famer. Mm. Um, he, again, he was Ring Magazine's number one fighter, not only in the weight division, but number one fighter. 
I forgot what year it was. So um, he's, he's done his job, you know, he's been in the biggest of fights, he's had so many, a lot of world title fights, he's been at the stage for a, a number of years. It's my first time fighting at this stage, but again, that's what you work your way towards. Yeah. And it always seems impossible until it's done. And you've got to go into his backyard, backyard. in Russia. Russia. Right? The, and the, I know, I know, you know, in being, in, being over in Russia myself, I know yeah. they're passionate about their boxing there and 100%. they're passionate about their sort of heroes. Yes. So yes. that's going to be doubly tough for it's you, isn't it? It's going to be doubly tough. Um, it's not even in, it's not even in the capital, it's not even in Moscow. Um, it's in Chelyabinsk. No one knows about this. It's where it's where the, the champion, the guy I'm fighting, is where he grew up. So again, it's going to be double hostile. But I'm looking forward to it. Mm. You know, I'm one of the people that thrive on challenges. I grew up in East London, so <laughs> we're used to a bit of host we're used to a bit of hostility. So yeah, yeah, I'm and looking forward to it. Tell us about the training, man, because I'm mm. always, you know what? I'm, uh, like, I remember we spoke to Dan Aziz, mm. um, and he was telling about his training regime, and it must be even worse for you because you're fighting for a, a mm. world title. I mean, yeah. What, what, what's a typical day in Anthony Yard's life? Well, um, I'm, 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 not, um, I'm not like a, a lot of other fighters. I like to do things based on how I feel. So on the average day, I usually wake up about 1pm. Again, it seems, it, 1 seems PM. Mad. it seems mad, but I like to get my rest and I usually go to bed late as well. So um, I do my runs in the night time. So I wake up, come straight to the gym from about 2.30, 3pm. I train till about 5, 6. Um, sometimes I go swimming four afterwards. Four hours training? About three, four hours, you know, you've got to get the work in. Um, about two hours of that is intense. Um, and then you do other work, so you do like a lot of body work. You do, um, go for runs, slow runs, you, go, you do fast runs, you mix it up. Um, I don't push no weights. I stopped pushing weights when I started um, boxing. No so, weights? No weights, only body I've seen you in your fights, you're so cut. Listen, 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 listen. It's just the natural. Pull-ups, <laughs> oh, pull pull -ups, ups. press-ups. I hate dips. those. I, still, I feel like that's still, um, mm. I still kind of pushing weights, but it's it's natural body exercises. Yeah, you're going the, against your gravity. balance. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, it's different. Um, so I don't do no weights. I do like a lot of a lot of swimming, as I said before. A lot of pad work, a lot of bag work, traditional old school methods of boxing. Um, yeah, I like to. I go home afterwards. I rest, eat. My favorite part of the day, eating. <laughs> and then um, yeah, in the night time, go for a little slow jog. Wow. So that's. So. It's quite an inter and, and that will be like that leading up all the way to this fight. I, I just trained 365 around the, around the year. Um, so you, you, there's no let up for you, no. no I've seen there's some other fighters like mm. when there's no fight going on, they blow up, they, they let themselves go a bit. They go out drinking. They, but I just, I look at the um, the Hall of Famers of the sport. I look at the um, the legends of the sport. I look at the Floyd Mayweather, the Roy Jones Juniors. Um, in this aspect, in this aspect, don't mm. look at Mike Tyson. Mm. <laughs> but um, a lot of fighters, you know, Shigori Robertson, these guys were disciplined. Um, Bernard Hopkins, one of the most disciplined boxers ever to live. Um, I, you have, I look at these guys and I see these guys don't take no time off. Their life was boxing. It's like people have a nine to five job. You go to your job, you get told what time to be there, what time to leave. If you want to take a day off, you've got to, you know, give your um, notice and things like that. I see these boxing is the same thing. You give it 100%. Mm. I train hard. Um, and when I'm, when I'm not fighting, I still come to the gym, but I just ease off a bit. So again, I'll eat the foods I want to eat. Um, I might go on holiday, but when I'm on holiday, you, see, you still see me going for runs. You still, you still see me in a swimming pool. Mm. Um, just keeping myself active. I play basketball, I go play football, you know, awesome. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking I'm Thierry or me. Um, but literally, I keep myself active. So yeah. I just see myself as an overall athlete. Do you think like um, there's parallels like with footballers? Because obviously, their training would be a lot different to your training. Yes. In the, um, but they do, I've, I've spoken to a couple of footballers as well, and their training is a bit similar where slower stuff, intense, slower yes. stuff, yes. intense. And again, and that's, you know, footballers, I feel like their, their strategies are a lot more strict. Like I had a friend that was a football player, or he's still a football player now. Mm. And when he was younger, I remember him after school, he had to go straight home, straight to training, um, back home training again and then school. So it's, again, they, they got a regimen and now nah, he's an adult or he's playing, um, you know, professional. If he's late to training, he gets fined and things like that. Um, my one's a bit more lenient. I turn up when I want, um, I arrange with my trainer and my team, which time we want to train, etc. But it's still that discipline. You mm. have to go training. You ain't got an option. Uh, I don't feel like training today. I want to go out and with my friends and eat burgers or whatever. Training is priority. Mm. That's why I've always had that kind of mentality. It's because I started boxing late as well, I had the mentality of, I'm behind, so I need to work double hard. Mm. I've always had that kind of mentality. It's such hard work, and you mm. know what? I remember someone saying to me one time that when you see somebody win a fight in the ring, yeah. and you say, I don't know, you've watched eight rounds of that fight, mm. 
actually that's just the tiny part of what's got that victory because it's all the preparation that goes before it. It's the preparation, it's the sacrifice. A lot goes into being a boxer. A lot, 95% of people in this world couldn't even step into a boxing room. Even if it was, even if it was for one round against someone that was in the same ability as them. Mm. Going into a boxing ring and fighting in front of the world is, is, is different. It's a different mm. kind of thing. Um, you know, heavyweights are different because you can be any weight you want, but any weight underneath that, you got weight as, you know, making weight, you know, dieting, which again will change your mood. You got the um, anticipation of the actual fight, which will change your mood. Um, you got to go in there and execute. People expecting things. Um, you got the world, you got people behind you, you know, expecting you to go out there and do this, make it look easy. Um, so again, there's a, there's a pressure put on fighters, but me, I'm in my own little bubble. Mm. And I just, I like to think different and it's me in there and the, the mentality I go in there with is, it's going to be what it's going to be. So again, just like when Arsenal play their football game, I'm watching it, I'm hoping, we're still supporting, but mm. however the game's going to plan out, that's how it's going to plan out. You know, we mm. don't have any control over it. Um, all we can do is be the best us and try and get that victory, that's mm. it. I was going to say, bro, I'm looking at mm. you, yeah? yeah? You don't even look like you've been hit. Come on, you know the set. You don't even look pretty, but you know what I mean? You don't even look like a boxer. I mean, I can see the rest of it. I was like, yeah, all right. Right, but I look at your face, I'm like, this man don't look like he's been hit. Literally, the way, you know what it is? A lot of people say that. Even in my fights that I've had so far, I've taken minimal punishment. And um, that's the way I want to keep it. Um, obviously, as you go up in levels, it's going to get tougher, it's going to get harder. I'm trying to make it stay as easy as I can. Mm. Um, that's hitting my opponent before they hit me hurting my opponent before they, hurt, before they try and hurt me. Staying defensive. I work on defensive training more than anything mm. because it's about not getting hit. You me talk to Arsenal. 100%, well. exactly. <laughs> exactly, I need to go in that change room and give them the, give them the strategy. Talk about the defense, defense you know I mean? comes first. Yeah. You work from defense and then go and attack. Defense is attack, you get what I'm saying? That's how you get yeah. your openings and things like that. So um, in the sport of boxing, it's, it's, it's very different than football, but at the same time, it's all to do with your mentality. Yeah. With football, again, you're with a team, so it's harder to get everyone on the same wavelength. But in boxing, it's a still the same thing. You have to have discipline. You've got to have drive. You've got to, you've got to be focused. That's, that's more than anything. If you're not focused, you mm. can have all the attributes you want in the world. When it comes to fighting, if you're not focused, other things will start taking over. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Now, listen, tell us about the fight. Yes. When is it? How can we watch it? You know, how can we get behind you, you know? Well, every Arsenal fan out there to get behind this guy because he's a proper gooner as well. This ain't no show. This, this guy is a proper live and one. breathe Arsenal, right? So we really mm. want to get behind you for this fight. So tell us when it is, how we can watch it, etc. It's August 24th. It's going to be in Russia, so I'm, I'm not expecting too many people to be flying over. <laughs> but um, it's going to be shown on BT Sports. Um, it will be free as well to view if you're a BT subscriber. Mm. So it's good. And um, yeah, man. If you go, I think there's a there's an episode that called No Filter where they're following me around, giving mm. updates to the fight, um, giving updates on my opponent, his background, etc. So stay tuned, follow the social medias, stay tuned to Arsenal Fan TVs, mm. and um, yeah, follow the journey. That's Lions gonna in the be camp. that's gonna be a nice little sort of double header because 100%. on the 24th we're yeah. playing Liverpool. Uh huh. Exactly. So Arsenal <laughs> Liverpool, and then after that, it's Anthony anywhere. Yard. Mm -hmm. Um, the big fight, on, so I want to wish you all the best for yeah, that. Um, thanks for inviting us down to the gym today. Yes. Um, you know, every time I come out, I feel inspired. I'm like, oh, yeah, get I you mean, on the bag, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get then, you that ring. <laughs> yeah, I see a couple of them licks going there. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm good, bro. You know what I mean? But listen, best Thank of luck, you, man. And you keep up the good work, man. You've been 100%. doing some great things. Thank you. Love your attitude, man. And um, mm. best of luck. Thank Bring you. it home, man. 100%. It's coming home. It's coming home for real this time. <laughs>